Good morning. Well, it's the 25th of November 2021 today, and I'm in the beautiful village of Overhand. The small but very pretty village of Overhaddon is set peacefully amongst the rolling fields of the White Peak, overlooking the beautiful Lathkill Dale. The village is full of twisty lanes lined with pretty stone cottages. It has two churches and a great pub. The main attraction of Overhaddon, however, has to be those glorious views that stretch for miles, and there is no shortage of lovely walks from the village down to Lathkill Dale. Walking through the village, I made my way along School Lane, where Overhaddon Village Hall is located, brilliantly placed to enjoy the wonderful views. Beyond here, the lane looped around the wonderful local pub, the Lathkill Hotel. For reasons which will be clear, the Lathkill Hotel has always been a personal favourite of mine. So this is the lovely Lathkill Hotel. I have been here countless times over the years. It's one of my favourite pubs to go into because of the view. I mean, I think this must have one of the best views from a pub in the Peak District. You can actually sit in the lounge there, or you can sit outside on the wall and then just look into Lathkill Dale. It's absolutely lovely. So yeah, I've been here lots of times. They do nice food here, the beer's good, uh, and it's a lovely place inside. The bar's lovely. It's got a big restaurant as well, but uh, I've come here a couple of times on a couple of my real ale minibus trips too. Um, and if you remember my walk recently that I did from Yule Grave up Lower Lathkill Dale, you may recall that I stopped in the Dale and pointed up to this hotel and I actually mentioned at the time that this is a place I've come to a couple of times on my real ale trips. But yeah, it's, it's just a wonderful place. I can't, I can't really describe it enough because it's just so lovely, but you just need to come here. And then who knows, at the end of today's walk, I may even stop here and have a drink and sit outside and enjoy the view. Because I do know that the weather is supposed to be sunny all day today. So I'll see how the time goes. OK, well, I better get on with the walk. From the Lafkin Hotel, I took the higher of the two footpaths, which headed in a southeasterly direction. I could see fantastic views above Lathkill Dale, across to Yule Grave in the distance, and over towards Haddon Park to my left. One day, I'm sure there's going to be a time when somebody will have to ring the fire department to come and rescue me. <laughs> oh, 
beautiful sunshine again. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. We've had some nice days this past couple of weeks. But, uh, it is getting colder, so you can tell that winter is upon us, really. Can't complain, though. For me, this is perfect walking weather. Absolutely lovely. Anyway, today's walk. It's another stroll, really. It's four miles. Um, so it's not strenuous at all. I think there's sort of one very minor climb to do, but nothing serious. But the reason I wanted to do this walk, firstly was because over Haddon is worth visiting, because it's a lovely village, and you just get that wonderful view into Lathkill Dale from there. Um, and secondly, there's somewhere I'm heading for, um, and there's gonna be an event on today, so I'm hoping to be able to get in okay, which is why I've really chosen today to do this walk. It's a Thursday, so hopefully during the week it will be less busy than it will be at the weekend. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping to see this event and have a look around at the venue in which it's held. The path soon emerged onto a lane, but I just crossed over it to take the footpath immediately opposite. The path was now heading in a more easterly direction as it took me across Haddon Fields and gradually began to descend. So as it's the 25th of November today, that means it's exactly a month away until Christmas Day. <laughs> I can't believe it. Christmas is almost upon us again. I just don't know where the years go. <laughs> it just seems to go by quicker the older you get. Hey ho. I suppose at least this year, we should all have it, be able to have a normalish Christmas. I mean, last year it was okay, but of course we were still under restrictions last year, so there were only a few days, I think, that you could actually spend with family. But it seems, at the moment, this year should be more, more or less back to normal. So that'd be nice. But yeah, hopefully we won't have any more restrictions now. Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, COVID has been a horrible time for everybody. Everybody has suffered in some ways. I mean, from my point of view, what I've not liked about it is the isolation. You know, living on my own and uh, having to work from home since COVID started, I've just really hated the isolation. And I still feel isolated because it doesn't look like we're gonna be sort of going back into the office anytime soon. And even if we do, it's not gonna be like the way it was. And I hate that. I mean, as I've said before, if I could give up work tomorrow, I would do. But whilst I am still in a job, you know, I'd rather be working with my team. And I think having been isolated this last sort of couple of years nearly now, I find that with regards to work things, I worry about stuff more because you don't see anybody. You don't, because you don't sort of walk into the office and, and uh, you just sort of have sort of like day-to-day -day banter or just talk about what's going on in work. All you do now is you have meetings via Microsoft Teams once every couple of weeks. So you see people's faces on the screen, which is fine, but it ain't the same. It really ain't the same. And I miss sort of being with people at work. So, you know, to be honest with you, if it ever happens, I'll be really glad to be working with people again. We'll see. <laughs>
Okay, here we are then. I've now got my first clear view of where I'm heading for. Haddon Hall. Joining a track, I headed down towards the busy A6, crossing over to enter the grounds of the splendid Haddon Hall. As I walked over the bridge towards the hall, I was delighted to see a familiar face whose family has been keeping the musical tradition of the street organ grinder alive to help people have a glimpse of the past. This is my friend Matt about to play the organ for us. <laughs> Matt even let me have a go. Not every time, every day you get a chance to have a play. I don't you. know. So 12 days of Christmas, mate, this one. Right. Off you go. Just turn it in constantly. I will. Wow. Have I ever played this type of organ before? <laughs> Whilst Matt was talking to Lady Santa, who was a singer at this event, I moved on excitedly as I entered Haddon Hall. This is lovely. And hopefully I might even get a chance to buy a Christmas present for a few people. Haddon Hall was currently playing host to the lovely Mercatum Winter Artisan Market. They are a treasure trove of the finest craft and artisanal products in Derbyshire and beyond and are beautifully presented in the 900 year old hall and grounds. Each market showcases a broad selection of carefully curated artisans and makers chosen for their talent, diversity of product and skill. The Mercatum markets are becoming synonymous with fine craft and discovery and offer an exceptionally high quality retail experience, all of which have made them extremely popular with visitors and have earned them a respected and much admired reputation on both a local and national level. Haddon Hall lies beside the River Wye near Bakewell, the former seat of the Dukes of Rutland. It is the home of Lord Edward Manners and his family. In form a medieval manor house, it has been described as the most complete and most interesting house of its period. The origins of the hall are from the 11th century, with additions at various stages between the 13th and the 17th centuries latterly in the Tudor style. It's an absolute bonus actually coming into Haddon Hall today. I thought whilst this artisan market's on, I'll take the opportunity to come in. But the market's lovely too. I've had a good look round, there's some lovely stalls there. Not found anything for a Christmas present for anybody, but still some interesting stuff there. Haddon Hall's amazing. What I like about it is, although it's quite close to the A6, you don't really see it. It's nicely hidden, so you have to walk through the archway and then along the driveway before you actually get to see the hall properly. Apart from the view that I had coming from that path from over Haddon. But yeah, it's, uh, it just feels very secluded and private. And this is only the second time I've actually been inside. 
Yeah. Lovely. Well, that was truly delightful. Really lovely. Oh well, I better get back to the walk now anyway. And there's Matt off again on his organ. <laughs> lovely. And it was nice to see him too, because I've not seen him for quite some time. Leaving Haddon Hall, I crossed the A6 again, retracing my steps up the track along which I had descended earlier. This time, however, I kept straight on this track as I headed southwest. So, a nice easy walk back to over Haddon there then. I've done the toughest bit, which is that bit here, as I climb up from the A6 near Haddon Hall but uh, it's not really a, a strenuous climb. It's starting to level out now. So I'm going back a slightly different way to over Hatton because I want to take in some certain views on the way. through a gate, I turned right to cross fields towards Overhaven, which I could see in the distance. Before long, I emerged onto the lane I had crossed earlier in the day, continuing ahead along the path opposite, keeping in the same direction. I'm nearly back at Overhaden. This is a nice gentle stroll today, nothing too strenuous. But I think this is definitely a walk to do when you know that Haddon Hall is going to be open. It's worth doing it, parking over Haddon, and then just walk to Haddon Hall, have a look around there when it's open, and then do this nice stroll back. And another highlight is just coming up. So aside from being able to go into Haddon Hall today, this is the reason why I chose to do this walk today. Wow, what's an absolutely wonderful view of Lathkill Dale. This is why I did this walk, just to see that. And this is another view which I never tire of. Of course, earlier in the week, I was walking down there. I was walking on the right-hand side of the River Lathkill. I was just coming up from Conksbury Bridge, which is just down there. And of course, up there, you can see Overhaddon above. So that's why Overhaddon is such a lovely village. Imagine living there looking out your window and seeing that below. Absolutely fantastic. As with all the wonderful views I enjoy in the Peak District, I could have stopped there all day looking over Lathkill Dale. But it was time to move on and head back to Overhaven.
So on a nice day like this, you can just sit here and look over the view. And what a view. Sit out here with a nice beer. Can't beat it. This is why I think this pub has got one of the best pub views in the Peak District. Yeah, it's a bit chilly to be sitting outside today, but I will certainly be here again very soon, because it speaks for itself, doesn't it? What a fantastic place to enjoy a beer and enjoy a view at the same time. <laughs>